Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about hiring. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, as a software engineering uh, manager, what is the most important thing that you are trying to evaluate when hiring a candidate? Well, Technically, I'm not a manager, so I don't know what the managers are, are uh, looking for. But to save myself and to be able to answer this question, most of the managers that I work with have this ex usually this process. Frederick does the code review or like the t reviewing the test and the interview, and then he says yes or no, and then they reach out, talk, and talk about salaries. That's usually it. So I'm with you two thirds of the way uh, in terms of like what I look for because. The, that is usually oh, that's the, what I'm accustomed to, at least where where I've worked, uh, because I work with managers who have understood that fundamental, really really good thing, and that is that they are not software developers, therefore they should not do the evaluation of skill because they don't know what they're looking for. But I do, and so does my coworkers. Because they're also software developers who work full time, and like this is something that they do to help the company, which is ex exactly what you're looking for. So, what I and my coworkers usually look for in terms of what's the most important is two things. Number one, do you have the skills necessary to fulfill a role, depending on the role that we're looking for? Let's say that we're just arbitrarily hiring people, then it's the best scenario for anybody because that basically means that if there is a need for a junior, mid level, or a senior software developer, you're going to get an offer as long as you fulfill these two requirements. Uh, unfortunately, which is the thing that a lot of people have to sometimes be reminded, uh, sometimes we simply don't have a need for a specific profile. Like, for example, we might not need a junior at this exact moment, therefore you're not going to get an offer or like uh, something like that. It's that simple. And I want to say that the same thing goes for mid-levels and seniors. And mid-levels for some situations, absolutely, but it gets all the way up to the senior level. Some, in many, I've never never practically at least never been in a situation where we found a real senior software developer because they're so rare that is that it is hilarious i mean most of the people who call themselves seniors are a joke in my opinion they are a complete joke and the times you find a person where you can really say that yes this person will be able to do all the things that we need them to do it is so rare that you don't have you know usually you find a way to like get them a job but there are absolutely situations where not even you know we're not even going to extend an offer which is usually the case when it's like because the ones that are really good they're usually well not all of them but usually they have more than a few offers and so it might be a salary thing where that makes it fall through or like some of the you know they're looking for a different sort of role or so forth but on average if we don't have a job we don't have a job but as long as you have the skills to fill the specific role we're looking for you're good second thing do I believe that you have, or my software co-workers as well, do we believe that you will be able to shoulder the necessary responsibility? Do you, will you be able to work well with the co-workers that we have? Will you fit into the office culture? Do you seem to be a nice person who's genuinely interested in learning and helping and like all of this sort of stuff? Do you seem to be the sort of person we want to keep around uh, just because, hey, you know what? When we have a group conversation or we have something that needs to, needs to be done, will you be there so we can rely on that you're going to do your best to help us fix figure this situation out as a team? These are the only two things we, I care about at the very least, and I'm, I don't want to speak for all my coworkers, but that is 99.99999% of uh, what the, the industry w wants in a software developer. It is actually that simple. It's just as I said that usually you find that the majority of people who like it's it's not that common that you have issues with people who have like you know the problem is very rarely that you find like social problems with an individual. That's usually when you get up to the management level. Uh, but the uh, the management level uh, and uh, I, honestly, it's rare that I find. I, I've only met a few people where I'm. I kind of went. This person is 
gonna cause problems and I can't you know the, the, these are people that you don't want around but that's very rare usually it is that they're trying to pull a fast one off on you uh, they're not genuine or they try to like you, you know they pretend to know things that they don't know or they seem to be the sort of person who's trying to either inflate their own value or as I said like they're trying to um, persuade you that they know more than they do etc etc and these sorts of personality traits I don't want uh, most of again I've never met a software developer that I've worked with who do who do these sort of interviews where they will they will allow that sort of personality to get into the company and when it comes to the skill assessment that sort of goes hand in hand because when you do the cold interview unless it's like really bad Usually I say to people, you will not, from just the code itself, be able to tell if this is a mid-level or a senior or something like that. You might be able to tell that if, if it's a junior, as I said, if it's an extreme uh, junior or something like that. But for the most part, it's very difficult. So you need to have both of these. And so when you talk to them uh, about their code test or their experiences and stuff like that, that's when you get to get a feel for what experiences do they actually have and what type of personality are you dealing with and at least with me and everybody I know you should always bet on being genuine transparent and not trying to pull a fast one because you are most likely talking to someone unless as I said you're working or you're hire, getting hired at a company who are really really shit they're at the hiring people I can guarantee you that you will not trick anyone in that conversation into that you know something that you don't soon as I hear you start saying uh, um, to any of my questions I know yep you don't know most likely so what I want you to take away from this is that well the most important thing that you are well usually the most important thing when you in, try to evaluate a candidate is number one do you have the skills necessary to fulfill the role that I'm looking for and depending on what role we're talking about let's say it's a junior like you have one set of skills that you're looking for and then you sort of add on top of that you can almost always think that way uh, but to a senior like you you basically just increase the requirements on the same sort of skills and expand them the higher up you go the chain uh, the uh, exception would be if you're hiring like a engineer manager or something like that then it depends on the company some companies have a strict policy around like having technical experience or something like that and some of them don't really care as I said because management in IT is in many cases a joke when it comes to technical uh, knowledge at the very least uh, but in some cases you do uh, technical evaluations to the, uh, on them as well and if they have the necessary skills to fulfill the role uh, you go on to the personality and that is as I said very straightforward is this sort of uh, the sort of person who seems genuine seems to be a nice person it's gonna fit in here uh, probably you know going to uh, be helpful to new hires or so forth and so forth a uh, general good uh, generally good time to be around is this the sort of person or at the very least is it if because you know sometimes people are a little bit shy in the interview is this a person who seems to be yeah a stand-up person doesn't have to talk all that much just seems to be a nice individual to uh, to interact with that's it if you can make these two things happen I prom I can promise you that you are going to be applicable for 99% of the jobs on the entire market have a great day